And we are back playing a little more SevTech Ages. And when we left off last time, we had just gone to the Beneath. And we got ourselves some Aquamarine as well as some of the Black Quartz. And let me tell you, I've been putting that Black Quartz to good use. I went back and got some more stuff. And I have my full set of Black Quartz armor now. So now I'm up to eight and a half uh, armor pieces or eight and a half armor points or whatever. And then I also made myself the all-in-one uh, Black Quartz um, utility tool, whatever you want to say. And it's just, it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty cool. But um, I, I just ready to get going on today's episode. I'm actually really excited to get started. Like, I'm having so much fun with this pack. I, I, I guess I hope you guys are enjoying as much as I am because I'm having an absolute blast. This is uh, such a fun little pack or whatever. I mean, check this out. So I'm getting the speed three because I'm at my house, but I'm getting strength and resistance because I've got my nutrition all up nice and stuff like that. That's such a cool little buff. And and if it goes down too low, it's, it could be some negative buffs or debuffs. So that's something to keep an eye on. But I, I have stayed alive for a while. That's basically what I'm saying is I've stayed alive for a while. I haven't died and I've kept all my levels up nice and high. So basically, I just want to kind of dive right in. So I've been looking at trying to continue on what else we need to do and so some of the things i was looking at as you can see i've got the parchment lined up here now the parchment is with an aquamarine <clears throat> and a couple of these washies right the washi can be made from mulberry sheets in the press and the mulberry sheets is just for mulberry pulp and that's made from dried soaked mulberry bark and so we've got to get the mulberry bark however this isn't the bark that you can get with the work blade it's got to be in the saw which means we have to make ourselves a saw. But I don't have any mechanical power. So that's where the rest of the quest comes in. So I got to make an axle and a water mill. So we're going to try to get to go on that on that. I'm going to go sleep off the night real quick so we can just get going on today's episode and start getting some mechanical power for better with mods. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know too much about better with mods. As you guys know, if you're watching the other series, uh, lost souls is like my introduction to it. And I'm only like a step ahead of where we are right now. So, uh, this will be kind of interesting, but <clears throat> let's jump in and see what we need to do to make some things here. So an axle is obviously the first thing we need to make. And that is two sticks, black quartz, and some of this hemp rope. And the hemp rope is just six hemp strings. Now, I knew we were going to get into better with mods eventually. So every now and then, I'll grab some hemp out of here, which I think it's all... No, oh, I still got some in here. And I'll make up some hemp rope. So we need 12 of these. So let me just do this real quick. Boop, boop. And craft these up into the hemp rope. And two sticks seems to be a relatively cheap recipe to make that guy right there and bingo bango axel f axel f i wonder i don't know um and then the next one is going to be the watermill <clears throat> so this one's a little bit more complicated not too bad uh we need four copper plates around a stone gear stone gear is a wooden gear and does it have to be glue because i don't have a lot of buffalo teeth or the red cedar planks i can do but glue, how do we make glue? Um, cauldron with a hide? What's the recipe for the cauldron? Can we make the cauldron? Oh, I can make the cauldron. Or the clay kiln. Yeah, so unfireable. <clears throat> we know what's coming next. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Make you. We'll go throw you in the kiln. And then we'll have the cauldron. And awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesomeness. Absolute awesomeness. Um... Why are you sitting up here? Would you stop putting potatoes in? Thank you. Um, you can cook those next. Why are you over here? Come here, you. I don't want you like burning. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Come on. Where you at? Get off the freaking kiln. Let's go. Dude. Dude. Where'd you go? Where did he go? <laughs> Where did the parrot go? Did he go out a window or something? He's supposed to be following me. Maybe if I run far enough, he'll just kind of re-warp out. There he is. You're trying to fly. You, you take a seat. 
Is he? He's not on me, is he? He's not on me, is he? <gasps> oh, that's so awesome. I don't want to hear him all the time, but that is so cute. He's like riding on my shoulder. Is he visible when I do this? Oh my gosh, he is. He's just chilling on my shoulder. I am loving. I don't know what mod does that, but that is, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. Um, okay, so Cauldron, are you done? Yes, you are. Cool. And <clears throat> we need a fire source for you. I might actually um, move you up here because I've already got all that fire um, out by the... Oh, what's it called? Up here. <laughs> this area right here. Um, <clears throat> so I need to go a block higher right... Put you right there. There we go. And we'll put the cauldron right there. Just for right now. Um, kind of shady, but whatever. Dude, don't get in the fire. You stay with me. Come here. Hop up. Thank you. <gasps> that is so cute. Okay. Um, so then, to make the glue, we need to go... Does he like... Oh, he falls off my shoulder if I go too fast. Okay. Well, you can come catch up when I'm over here. All right, so I need... I hear a baby zombie. Can I make you... Come on, fall off my shoulder. You're pretty good when I don't want you to be... Here. Can I... How do I get you off my shoulder? <laughs> I want you to get down so I can just tell you to sit still. I just don't want him to get hurt. That's my biggest thing. I don't want him to get hurt. If you're going to stay, stay. Okay? You you stay. Okay, so <clears throat> it looks like to make this guy... Can I do it with glue? If I can do it with glue, I'll just do a whole bunch of glue in the cauldron. Oh, I can do it with the blood. Okay, and glue. Okay, cool. That's good to know because I did start some blood. Um, and let me grab some of these. What do I have the most? I've got the most of cow. So we should be able to make up a whole bunch of glue that way. Right? Get in there. Yep, you start cooking. Good. And hey, 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 you, you, right there. I want you to sit, 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 sit. No, not on my shoulder. I grabbed him. <laughs> That's awesome. I grabbed him out of midair. All right, dude. This is your home right here. Stay. You stay right there. Okay. I don't want you to get hurt, man. Um, so we're doing the blue. Because I need to make a wooden gear. That's just planks and sticks. Okay, so then we're good there. And then I need stone for that. So let's grab... I'm sure I have some planks in here. There's four. And four. And then that first glue should probably be done by now. I've got little baby zombies popping up somewhere. It's probably a mistake in my build and there's a hole underground. But I don't know exactly where they're at. Um, so you... You, 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 like so. Wooden gear, and then I just go grab some stone and some copper. Copper is right here, and we'll make up a little bit more, like so. Thank you. And there we go. <clears throat> and then I've got tons of cobble in the hallway over here. Don't take fall damage. Oh well. And I can make, it's funny because like everywhere I have a chest, like there's a crafting table next to it now. I've gotten that part organized, so. There's you, and, oh, I gotta make copper plates. Let's go make the plates. But I'm excited, we're making progression. <clears throat> we're definitely, you know, I feel on our way to possibly the next age. I don't, you know, I don't know 100%, but I feel as though we're on that, that path. And so, the the closer we get, the happier I get, because then it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something right for once when it comes to Minecraft. Because, I mean, like I'm really good at dying. We we all are well aware of that. I'm really good at dying. Okay, and then we need these. Can I do it? I can't. I, I could have sworn I saw slabs and not siding for the. Yeah, there we go. So I can do slabs, and then I think I've got enough blood over here now. I think I did enough to make enough of those uh, blood things. Because I only need eight, which means two blocks will be more than enough. And the rest of you. And then I've got slabs over in the other room. So I think we'll be good on the water mill. But then I've also got to make the gearbox, I believe. And I'm assuming probably after I make um, 
the water mill, it'll open up the gearbox. I'm a, that just an assumption of mine. Um, so let's see, let's see. <clears throat> I need uh, four times eight. I need what? Eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. Thirty-two. So that should be enough right there. Thirty-three. And now I can make you guys up. Oh, oh, because I didn't do these yet. Okay, like that. Cool. And one, two, three, four, five. Cool. And now the watermill. Awesome. Now, did that unlock? Yes, the gearbox. Okay. I'm learning here. I am learning better with mods. So, uh, gearbox. What's your recipe? Ooh. You're a little more advanced, but not too bad. Uh, I've got the glue to make those. I've got the one axle, which means I'm going to need to make another one. And I need some bronze plates and some thin slabs. <clears throat> Okay, so I need to take a couple slabs over to the chopping block. That's easy. So two slabs over there, and we'll get our horsey to do some work. Come here, homie. You're on the wrong machine. You need to be on this machine. And I just need two of you. Let's put you in there. Good. Make me up some of those thin slabs. And then what else did we need? Uh, the bronze plates I can go do really quick. I need to make another axle which is, uh, should be doable. I should have enough material for that. And yeah. Okay. So we're just waiting on, there's one set. Can I get the other set please? All right. Yep. There's two and you should be done. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your help. Come again anytime. And where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We need another axle. Well, I've got the one, but I do need to make another axle for this. So <clears throat> I need what? 12 of these. Yep. That's going to give me the Yep. And then sticks. I don't have any, but I can grab some. Okay, cool. So let us make up two of these. Oh, I need more glue. Need more glue. Got that easy now. Cauldron's doing its job. Plenty, plenty, plenty. All right, so <clears throat> you, I need two of you. One, two, got you. Bronze plates. Let's get some bronze real quick. Like that. And give me my hammer. So yeah, once you kind of start getting everything built up, it's not not too hard. I mean, I feel like we're we're making some good progress. I feel like we're heading in the right direction here. Why is there always a stick? Okay, if, if any of you guys know, sticks are always appearing on, like that, just randomly on top of chests and stuff like, or not chests, but um, usually on. Didn't I pick those up? Did I put them back in that chest? Oh my. Uh, let's go sleep off the night. I don't want to mess with mobs. Although my sword's pretty good. I ain't trying to mess with the mobs right now. But if any of you guys know what's up with the sticks just appearing on top of crafting tables and apparently in chess now too. I am genuinely con con curious about that. It happens all the time. Like it's not a random thing whatsoever. I mean, it is all the time. And I don't know if there's just something with primal core that makes it happen. I'm not sure, but... Like, get out of the way, dude. Give me my fruit back. Give me those. All right. Fortunately, like I said, I've just got crafting tables everywhere now. Kind of in useful spots, I believe. I would say they're in useful spots. Okay, so gearbox. There we go. And turntable. And then a clay bucket. Oh, my gosh. We're so close to the bucket. So close to the bucket. Oh. So I need to go make another axle. So I can actually uh, set the water mill up because I think I don't think I can set the gearbox right next to the water mill. I'm sure I have to have like an axle or two, and I've still got what four quarts on me. So let us see why 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 why. Um, let's make another one of you. There's two of you, and you. And there we go. And let's go see if we can set this guy up. Um, for right now, I'm just thinking down there makes the, the most logical sense. Ooh, don't do that. 
just because there is water and I think there's some flowing water thanks to when I first started. I don't know if it has to be flowing, but we'll see. Um, so I don't know exactly how this works. Um, or does it have to be on a gearbox? Okay, let's get this tree out of the way, just in case this is hindering anything right here. And basically just get the leaves out of my way. Cool. Okay. So do I have to put a gearbox like right here? And then switch the side? And do this? Or does it have to be... Hmm. I'm curious. Because I have no idea how to set this up. But I, I can go read the book. But honestly, what's, where's the fun in reading the book all the time? I don't have to read the book. Um, let's let's try this. I'm gonna try to do this in interesting ways. You can see I didn't even build them all the way down. I just kind of built them right there. So this kind of is gonna be fitting. Um, like that? No. But if I put you there, do I put you on here? Not enough room. Uh, needs a five by five area to work. So <clears throat> one, two, three. Let's just move you guys out of the way real quick. So one, two, up uh, those two you're clear. One, two, you're clear. One, two, you're clear. So like that. Okay. Although it doesn't seem to be spinning. Does not seem to be spinning. So is there something in the way? Does it have to be flowing in a specific direction? It's kind of like flowing this way and that way. Or does it just... No. It, you would think it would be spinning right now. Let's try... <clears throat> the aqueduct. The aqueducts. I can get flowing water with the aqueducts, right? I can. Let's do that. Okay, so also I found out that I put these aqua ducts so wrong, but it was a while ago, so I just haven't changed them. Um, these don't even have to be aqua ducts right here. As a matter of fact, we're gonna change that real quick. Um, these can be any block. That's gonna destroy my aqua duct though. And let's put some dirt in. Well, I can't believe I remember the aqua ducts were over here. So that's two right there. So. That'll be a five by five area, right? Why is there a skeleton around here? Um, yeah, so that'd be two down, three right here, so I can put the gear, okay, yes. This, this will work, hopefully. <laughs> I like to be optimistic. Nothing wrong with being optimistic, right? Even if it's unreal unrealistic optimism. Okay, so did I get everything back? Okay, I did. So, we are gonna put the, shut up. The gearbox right here. Like so. Axle goes there. And bingo bingo. It's five by five. One, two. Right. Right. Does it need to be one higher? Like, is that part of a problem because it's gonna to be too far in the water? I don't know. But this is a five by five area right here. Let's let's put you up one right now. So we're gonna test. We're gonna figure this out. Is it gonna happen, right? Um, you go there, and you go there. So you would think this would start spinning, right? Does it have to have something connected for it, to it to start working? Is it not pushing it enough? Does it need to be deeper? 
Huh. Let's put an aqueduct block right here. And do I need to put blocks down here to lift up the water level? I don't know. Let's go grab the book. It's time to go grab the book. <clears throat> I've messed around enough. I'm sure there's information on the water mill. And I thought it would start spinning, but you never know. Let's see. Um, <laughs> crash course. This is where I got the information last time. Windmill. Vertical windmill. Cauldron. Um... I'm passing all the stuff that's water mill related, I'm assuming. Uh, mechanical power, okay, first with mechanical crank, okay, the next is continuous mechanical power through windmills. Do this strong fiber, so okay, to cut down time for grinding hemp, you could place down more millstones and hand cranks, allowing you for to alternate along a set of them, reducing your wait time. Uh, once enough hemp power is gathered, create a windmill to create continuous mechanical power, yeah. But I'm not doing windmill, I'm doing the water mill. So why, what am I missing on the water mill? Yeah, you're just trying to get me to go on that. Um, you would think, like items. Um, you would think it would give a little bit more information. But it doesn't give anything on the mills or anything like that. So let's, okay, let's try. Let us make another axle real quick. Just to test this out. So I need 12 of these. I've got the quartz. I got everything else. Cool. So axles in this. There we go. Make you one, two. And there we go. Make you. And I will go grab the millstone. Like this. And, yeah, well, let's just do this. Bonsai! Oh, no, I can't jump up from here. I can do it from here, though. That was a quick way down. All right. So, if I put you there, and, oh, no, you actually, what? I want to put you on top so I can get to the bottom of the millstone. Like so, right? And... Just a couple building blocks right quick. So then I can put you right there. And does it need a redstone? Is it the redstone signal to turn it on or turn it off? I thought redstone turned it off. But I thought this windmill should be working. Like I just feel like it should be working. I feel like this is flowing water. Let me try this real quick. I'm going to drop this aqueduct down to right here. Should probably not let myself drown. Yeah, don't want to do that. And let's see if it's got the water level needs to be one lower. Let's see if that's the case. Wait, was that moving? Was that moving? I kind of saw it glitch a little bit. Let's try moving this back a little bit. I don't even need the aqueduct for this. All right. So this looks like it's all flowing water. That looks like it's all clear. <clears throat> if I put the gearbox right here. Right. And I put you right there. Can I put you right there? Not enough room to place the water mill next to a five by five work area. Yeah, five by five, it's, you've definitely got that. Um, let me, should be okay over here. I guess I should be okay. Maybe it's gotta be one higher. Maybe that's the issue. Let's try one higher. It's, I mean, Right now, nothing, it can't hurt to just try a ton of different options. And like that. 
So that's too high, right? It's so not in the water right there. So what is the deal here? What is the dealio? It's got enough to put it down. <clears throat> this is when I wish I could like hear you guys. Because I know you guys are like, dude, this is how you do it. And I don't... <clears throat> I just... I play with this stuff for days. And never get it figured out. Ah! Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. So, flowing water. We got it. We got it. Now, just like that. There we go. And then this, I might need to make the chimes just in case there ever is like a storm or anything like that. But for right now, if we get a burnt out of gearbox, it happens. Like that, and put your hemp in there. And you're just going to throw hemp all over the place, aren't you? Aren't you? But you're doing it for free, so I'm okay with that. Can... Does the millstone have to get powered from the bottom? And that I'm curious about, if it has to get powered from the bottom. I don't know. But let's pretty this area back up a little bit. Can I put that there? No. That is too close. Oh, wait, no, wait. Yeah, okay, that's okay. I didn't put you there. There we go. Just just doing a little beautification area here. Um, sand. There we go. So you're doing your thing. There's got to be a better location to put this, but hey, we have mechanical power, which is awesome. Because now we can go make a turntable and get going on a clay bucket and being able to move water around. Then I can start my farm up here. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. So let's look. Let's, let's go clear inventory real quick and see oh did not mean to jump out of my house um and we'll see if we can get that turntable and get a bucket done and start relocating water that would be pretty cool and we'll go down and pick up all that hemp when we're done hopefully i'm getting plenty of it okay so you will go back in there um i guess you can go in the tool chest there same with the aqueducts. Um, let's get wood. You know what? I need to probably just keep some wood for working purposes on me. I'm thinking that's probably pretty sensible. And you flint I don't need on me. Saplings. Why do I always get so many saplings? Let's put some of the blood back there. I don't know. Sandstone if I have any, but not. There you go. Uh, cobble, you can go in there. Do I have any of you in this chest? Oh, that'll work. And slate over here. Okay, so we're pretty cleaned up. Let's go put some of the metal back. And let's look at the recipe for the turntable. Like, really, that's just so annoying. Um, turntable. Okay, so that's what we got next, right? The turntable. All right. Oh, actually, the saw could be really useful for that paper. Let's look at the recipe for the saw first. I, I want to check that one out first. So... We've got the saw right here. So, first thing we need to do is make some leather. That we can do with glue. Oh, that's super simple. I've got leather cordage. I've got glue. Done. Done deal. Okay, the saw may be not so difficult. And now that we have power, even better. Um, let's see. Leather cordage is in here. Yes. One, two, three. Was it four? Like that. Yep, there we go. Got the saw belt. Um, flint saw blade. So flint with a tin gear, stone gear, wood gear. Okay, so I've got you. Oh, you know what? Might as well make four of them. Um, what am I short on? Planks. I'm short on. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's go make some planks. Actually, I should have some over there. So we'll sleep the night off and go get those planks and get the saw going. Oh, I'm so excited. I love, 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 love when we start to get stuff done. And like I can see a progression in my future. And I feel as though we've got to be pretty close to finishing up this age one area. And, you know, for being, I think this is what, episode 11? 
don't feel like we're too far behind the power curve to be getting through in, you know, 11 episodes. Um, so you, 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 you. There we go. Four gears. Might as well grab some stone while I'm right here and make those all into stone gears. Ah. Come on. Gear, stone gear. There we go. All four of you. Cool. And then those three go to copper. This one goes to tin. And then we need some flint, so I'll go grab the flint. Okay, cool. This is pretty simple to make, actually. Pretty simple. Uh, let's grab some flint so I can get the flint pieces. I don't think I have any flint pieces made. So let's go make those up while we're up here. Hopefully I actually get four and don't have to go grab more. Cool, got him. <clears throat> Easy peasy. Get out of here. Uh, so one, two, three, four. And copper, I'm gonna need four, eight, 16. Four, eight, 12, wow. Um, that'll be nine more, there we go. Hammer, please. And let me do you two. So there we go. Got you. So we need 12 of these. That's why we have extra. All right. Wow, can we not multi-click? There we go. I'm finally getting a rhythm with this. That's it, that's 12, right? Or is that 11? That's 11. All right. And switch over to 10, just like so. <sighs> Whoa. Don't do that. There we go. And let's craft all these bad boys up. All right, cool. So, see, the stick's back. <laughs> what is up with that? Okay, so the stone gear. No, we got you. I need to make you. One, two, three. And I need to make... Stop it. I need to make you. And then you make this. And there we go. And the saw. Oh, that's a bronze gear. Ah, oh, I made three copper. Darn it. One, two, three, four. See, so you gotta pay more attention. Gots to pay more attention. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's not a huge deal, but... Um, three. There we go. And now, can we make another gear? Do I have enough materials on me to make one? Nope, I need more sticks. I just, there's sticks everywhere. Let's just grab some sticks. There we go. I should have stone on me, right? Eh, nope, but not enough. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Come over and grab a little more cobblestone. We'll get the saw going on. Shush. Shush, you. All right. So you, 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 you. Got you. Just need one. And you. And you. There we go. And got you. Saw. Cool. Now, I need to make another axle. So let's go ahead and do that while we're here. So it was 12 of these. I think I've got everything else on me to make it. Hey, really? Go. There we go. Um, Axel. If I can ever spell, that would be awesome. You, like that. All right, cool. Let's go get the saw made up because we want the pulp so we can make those papers and all that fun stuff, so. Let's see if I can get the saw working. Do I have, I got 11 on me. That should be enough. Uh, four per four, so I need 16. So I'm actually gonna probably need more. Um, Axel, can I put you right here and put the saw right here? Will that work? It will, all right, cool. And then just do this. Cool. 
Cool. That worked well. How many did I get? I got 11. So it is just one per with this, and I'm going to need 16, I think. Let's get away from it, because that's noisy. Can I make a lever? <laughs> Let me grab a piece of cobble and make a lever for that. That's, that's just going to be loud. All right. And let's go put a lever on you and shit you. I can't make... I can't make a lever. <laughs> I can't turn it off. Okay, well, we'll just stay clear of it. So it's not annoying me for right now. That's funny that I can't make a redstone lever. We're, we're not into the age of redstone. Um, you know what? I've got some potatoes. I need to go make up some food real quick. Uh, potatoes, potatoes. You're in here. Oh, you don't cook on this. You cook on the other one. Uh, carrots? No, we'll just cook. eat the pork. We'll just eat some pork for right now. Actually, let's do this. Vegetables. Got to keep them veggies up. All right, so let's see if we have any more planks. Oh, you know what? No, it specifically had to be this wood. That's what it had to be. It had to be these. And it's funny how I have 15 and I need 16, so. Come on. 1.12 lag spike. There we go. You, 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 you. All of you guys go back in there. You, you. Yes. Let's go get a little bit more of this wood. There we go. And let's go try that again with the proper wood. There we go. Right? That's the one. All right. So that'll give us 20. I feel like we'll probably need some more. But at least we can get them started. <sighs> okay. Oh, I put it down too fast. This is so loud. I don't know how loud it's going to record, but it is insanely loud in my speakers. In my ear. Ooh, don't get cut by the saw. Um, anything useful down there? Sawdust and wood. Yeah, might as well. Come here. There we go. Cool. All right. Now, I'm wondering... I'm pretty sure I can put these in the, the water mixing thing. It's said to do it with the water bladder, so I'm assuming that means I can do them in here. I'm just... Let's see if that's the case. Yes, I can. Cool. Nice. And this is going to take two minutes to dry these all up. Fortunately, I have a whole bunch of... Um... Wait, no. I want you... like that. There we go. Um, a whole bunch of drying racks, so it shouldn't take too long. We should get it done pretty efficiently. And more of you guys. 16 of these. If I counted right, that's what we need. 16 of these. Then we'll get the papers done. There we go. And last four. Oh, this is fun. This is... I love all these new mechanics and stuff, like this primal tech. And I really, really do enjoy all these new mods that I've never used before. It just... It adds a level of fun that I can't possibly complain about. All right. All right. So leather, get out of here, and we gotta dry you guys off. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw eleven, twelve, and we'll just do this: thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, cool. So those are all gonna dry up, and then we should be able to make the parchment, right? So it's. Four of those in a crafted together gives me the mulberry sheet. And that's just these ones, right? Yeah. And then this press gives me that. So, yeah. So, we're getting pretty close. Um, I'm figuring... Oh, that gives you nine. Netted screen. Oh, that's right. We also looked at the ancestral infusion, which I can't do yet. So, <sighs> it's okay. Um... So what it comes after that, then it's going to be access the knowledge of the stars by crafting an astral sorcery journal. Let's look up that. Let me leave this just to you. you are. What is this recipe? That is going to be a piece of parchment, a plant cloth, and four mo those gems. So I'm actually going to need to make these last four. Um, yep. 
Good thing I read that. Good thing. Hang some of these up around the house. Because I know I've got more drying racks just like kind of hanging around the house. So it might just do that. Um, it's just four of them, right? Yeah. So I can put one right there. One right there. One right there. And one right there. There we go. That's not ghetto or anything. Just using the decorations of the house usefully. Um, and then, yes! <clears throat> so let's go grab... Well, I forget. I think it's nine of these to make that... Where did I put them? Did I put them over here? No, I put them down here because I considered them tools now. That's what I did. One, two... I think it's... Is it nine of these? Is that what it is? Yes, it's nine of them. So we need to go get two more. So I need two more plant fibers. That's pretty easy. The stuff's not hard to come by. There we go. And we'll put you like that. Got you. Make hey, go. We'll just use this crafting table up here. Like so. There we go. And I'm really, I'm curious about the Astral Sorcerer because I know absolutely nothing about that. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going with it, Astral Sorcery, and figuring it has something to do with like, um, not necessarily nighttime, but maybe like the stars. Maybe? I don't know. Possibly? Oh, you know what? We don't need to make another one. That's what we're making is the parchment for... What am I thinking? See, my brain, it just ceases to work. It really does just cease to work. Uh, okay, so we'll get all of you guys. Right? There we go. And then we'll craft you guys into this. And then we can go throw this in the press. Let's go sleep off the night. And we'll throw you in the presser. Mr. Dire World, you stay over there, be nice. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to train you. You say that they're trainable. I haven't figured out how yet. But if it's possible, we will figure it out. We will. And we'll come over here. Put you in the press. Like so. And you come here with me. Um, What in the world? Come on, dude. All I did was grab your lead. Ain't that serious, man. All right, cool. So we'll press those up. And we're just, we're getting closer. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Um, and so, yeah, the turntable. And then a clay pot. And then we can move water. I can start moving my farm up on, to, up on my building where I wanted it to be and not down on the ground. That'll be awesome. And how many do you have left? You have two left. So you're squishing you down over here. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Squish. So apparently it's about two laps per. That's what it seems to be. So yeah, this, I will be happy when I don't have to use these anymore, but I do love the mechanic. Like, I can't lie. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty unique, um, totally different. And I, I love it for that reason. Um, I didn't mean to do that. And, hey, don't you dare. Don't you dare. You're gonna, I was like, you're going to die quickly because this sword is stronger than my old one. So, um, for parchment, let's go. And we should be able to get both of these done. Parchment, got you. Cool. And journal. Uh, recipe is too large for crafting in two by two. Oh, pfft. There we go. Got the book. Oh, and we also got a field manual again. I don't know. Oh, that's right, because I took him down. <laughs> I was like, we got a field manual again. Um, this is going to my diary. Okay, cool. So, the the obvious thing I can conclude is this was not all we had to do. Since we're not getting the ding-a-ding. -ding, but we have to be getting pretty close, right? So, what opened up? Um, complete the ritual to transform a crafting table into a luminous crafting table. Complete the ritual. Okay, so that's got to be in the book. Let's look that up. Let's go clear some of our stuff out. And, you know, we've got about 15 minutes left. And we might be able to get this done. I'm not... I'm debating, do I want to do the turntable first? So I can make myself a clay bucket. Or do I want to do... 
I need better storage too. That's what I need. I'm going to start getting disorganized really quickly here. Um, there. Uh, plant. Oh, oh. You'll go in there. Do I have any glue in here? No, but I don't need that much salt. <laughs> there we go. Um, we'll put the metal up top. I'm going to just go dump some of this stuff. I need to make myself a trash can. Really need a trash can. Um, metal goes in there. You know what? We'll just put the salt in here for right now. I just Why not? It's not going to hurt anybody in there. Um, let's get rid of these saplings. And let's see. Let's find out how we turn a crafting table into... Whatever it said. What did it say? Turn the crafting table into a luminous crafting table. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, this book is pretty. Um, okay, there we go. So, luminous crafting table. Okay, using a regular crafting table to interact with starlight emitted by the shrine crystal, henceforth labeled as collector crystals, seem to be rather inefficient. The table is only able to receive a small amount of starlight from the crystal. Not only that, but the table must be in very close proximity to the crystal in order to receive any light at all. The luminous crafting table solves both issues perfectly. It is able to absorb and utilize a much larger amount of starlight than the crafting table in the ruins. I don't know what ruins. That's probably like without the modded version of this merchant. Also, it doesn't require a connection to the... Okay. This crafting table is not without its drawbacks, though. Firstly, it needs to be placed somewhere above the ground with an unobstructed view of the sky in order to collect starlight. Well, that makes sense. Its collection process also seems to be inefficient, even on the clearest of days. Placing the table higher in the sky allows it to collect more starlight. With atmospheric interferences of starlight seeming to... Oh, that's kind of cool. In order to craft the luminous crafting table, the table must be right-clicked with a resonating wand after the items used in the recipe are placed on it. When the item is done crafting, the item will be dropped onto the altar. The amount of starlight... Okay. So should we just look for a recipe? Is this... Let's, let's, let's just look for a recipe. Um, luminous. You. Okay, so... Oh, for the Necronomic Ritual. Okay, so I need four Aquamarine, two Reinforced Slate... And two pieces of marble. Well, we can do that. How much aquamarine? I didn't get a lot, but I wonder if I have enough. I didn't look at how much I grabbed when I did it. Um, yeah, I only grabbed four. Um, how many do I have? <gasps> I have four. And I have marble. And I need two reinforced slates. Okay, so we're going to need some blood. We're going to need some blood. But look at all my hearts. Oh my gosh, all my hearts are like maxed. Oh, I that's down in the tool chest. <sighs> need to remember to leave that sword up here. Wait, is that a bear or is that a horse? That's a horse, okay. I don't want to ever see one of those bears ever again. That guy freaked me out. All right, so there you go. Sacrificial dagger. I have 20 hearts to donate. That should be more than enough. And I'm just going to do these one at a... Well, I don't have to do them one at a time. I can do them two at a time. Let's go you. In there. Go. And sacrifice it up, baby. Although I don't have a lot of food on me, so... <laughs> Hopefully that's enough blood. If not, just to get the first two. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need for reinforced slates. Um, let's see. What's... They need 2,000 each. Oh, well, those are done. Okay. Now, go. Oh, there he goes. I was like, what, what, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? I don't know how much I'm donating per tick, actually. That's the part that not having the, uh, the divination sigil or whatever it's called, not having that kind of makes it a little bit tricky because I don't know exactly how much I'm donating. But I remember this thing wasn't even full when I did my blood orb, which was 5,000. These two together should only be 4,000, so I think we should be okay. I think. I may be completely off when I say that, but I think we should be okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me those reinforced slates. Oh, there we go. Thank you. 
and a crafting table. Let us, this is unobstructed. It's kind of like the highest place in my thing. You're going to be the luminous crafting table. You have just been promoted. All right, so let's go over here and do I get my Necron? I got to go grab my Necronomicon first. Um, oh, that's what I didn't look at was how much um, PE I need. I have 4,000 in there. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see it being much more than the um, <clears throat> the ritual to get the beneath. So we should probably be okay. I'm going to assume we're going to be okay. But you never know. Um, so before I do this, let me make sure that these didn't have to be a specific kind of marble. Okay, yeah, so they're just switching. Just just marble. Okay. Cool. 444. Four, four. Okay, cool. All right, so as I said, I like the balance. I don't know if it's necessary, but... It just, it's kind of like the way I feel like it has to be. And there. And start. The sounds that some of these mods do, like this one and all the sounds I was hearing down in the beneath, they're just a bit eerie. It's like. Cool. So we have a luminous crafting table. Um, oh. Oh. Well, hello, H2! Dun, 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 dun. That really just put a smile on my face. I did not think that that was going to do that, but that was awesome. All right, so Luminous Crafting Table. I'm just going to put you right back over here for right now. Um, well, you get a little bit of starlight up in the daytime, maybe because the sun's going down. So let's look. Um, we got a little bit more to do, but welcome to H2! Fill in the gaps. Oh, T. <gasps> Time to ditch your old crafting table and upgrade to a crafting station. Ah, that made me so happy right now. Oh, it's going to be time to get. It's tinker time. It is tinker time. Oh, my goodness. But that's cool. So now I'm going to have to look into this astral sorcery stuff and really kind of find out what it's all about. Uh, I don't like, I, I know nothing about it, but I can see that this little meter went up and I'm figuring that's the starlight the book was talking about because I'm at the highest place. Although I could guess what up on top of the house. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll make the top of this, the astral sorcery location. And instead of actually putting a roof on this thing, or maybe I'll put a roof and just leave a hole right above the table. Huh? I don't know. We'll see. But it's, I, oh, I'm so excited. There's there are no words and how much PE did they? It used a thousand. That's easy. Um, I'm so jazzed right now. Everything is just kind of coming together. My nutrition's up. I've got 20 hearts. I've got a Necronomicon. What is this? Why is this block different? Why is that block different? It says Oakwood Slab, but it's different. Why are you different? Are you what is that? Oh, well, planks. That is so weird. I don't know. <laughs> but oh, we're we're to age two, so we're not we're not done with age one. I'll say that much. We're not done with age one. We do need to make the turntable and uh, make ourselves a bucket. But I think that could be one of the very first things we could do. Um, well, we got like eight minutes. Let me see. Turntable. How difficult are you? Oh, please tell me that's the gear. Oh, it's a copper gear. So please tell me that's the gear I already have. Um, we should be able to make an axle. Oh my gosh. I forgot all about that hemp. Oh my gosh. Please don't tell me you all despawned. I totally forgot all about that hemp over here. You're all gone, aren't you? I lost all that hemp. I so lost all that hemp. I forgot all about you over here. Um, man, let's. <laughs> After all the goodness, that kind of made me sad when I just realized I left all that. Uh, I only have three, and I've got six here. Six times... Oh, no, no, that's enough. That's enough. Come on. Come on. Let's go jump. Let's go jump. hi -ya! All right. So we have enough to make the turntable, and... Oh, oh, not under. And we can make our clay bucket up and stuff like that. So let's... 
No, not you. You. Let's you do your thing real quick. And um Yeah, copper gear is easy, stones easy. Um I need a tough a couple of these, so let me go grab some planks real quick. Hopefully that hemp will all be done by the time I get back. That I won't forget about it this time. And I gotta make some siding. So three siding? That's what? Just two pieces of two planks? I can do that. Let's just grab a whole stack. I'm gonna need sticks too. And a gear. Let me grab some glue because I'm going to need a gear. <coughs> I'm going to make that while we're here. There we go. And some stone, a cobblestone. And I'm going to need four of you. And four of you. And like that. Cool. Let's go grab that hemp. And did I grab the planks? I did grab the planks. So we're going to need three, which I can do with four. What am I going? This way. I really want to create a path to get down here. I started the, the overhang that was going to go over the water. Maybe I can kind of invert that and convert that into a path to get over here now. Because this is probably going to be somewhere I come over to often. I would assume it's going to be somewhere I'm going to come over to often. Um, thank you. And planks. There we go. Got the sidings. Got enough of that. Are you done? You're done. Alright, cool. That thing is so loud, but it's cool. It's good. Uh, let's go get some copper, get the gear. And I'm going to have to go make a clay block as well, but we can get that done. And this will be a great way to end the episode, just basically finishing off all the options. Uh, like, you know, objects for one, two, three. Um, let's just get another block of copper. All right, cool. So, copper block. I just wanted one copper block. Get back in there. And you're almost done, aren't you? Yep. And one, two, three, four. Oh, no, eat the meat. Don't try to hammer the meat. Now, can this work as just a regular crafting table? Can I, does this work like a regular crafting table as well? No, okay. So I do need to bring up a regular crafting table as well. I can just build one real quick. Um, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yes, yes, we've got it. Oh, and... What is this? There's no chest connected to this thing. What is this inventory going into? Um, I don't want to put something I need. Let's let's put a potato over here. Yeah, I was about to say. There is no inventory here. Wait, it's using those. That's kind of cool. Okay, can't lie. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, so copper gear. Got you. And you. I need you. I need you. One, two. Like that, you, nope, not you. You, that's everything. Oh, did I, didn't I grab stone? I thought I grabbed stone. I may have put it back. I'm like out of food. Um, apple. I know what I'm going to be doing in the meantime. I'm going to be getting, getting going on food. That That's for sure. Um, one, two, three, four. I thought I used, oh, it used, I see what it did. It used my other ones for the gear. That's why I don't have the stone. And let's grab four of these. And is there another way to make a clay block? Um, other than just pressing it? Is that is there any other way? Clay. Um, it doesn't look like it. Just the presser. I mean, it doesn't take too long. Just hardcore packing. That's interesting. I don't know what that all is about. Let's go to the presser. Actually, let's stop right here and make the turntable. Let's do that. Turntable, you're ready to be made. Oh, I didn't make you yet. There we go. And I already need more black quartz. Okay. That's also going to be my... my uh, <clears throat> what do you want to call it? My source of... Uh, like fixing my armor and my tools and stuff like that. So you do your thing and we'll get the clay and then we'll go hook up this turntable. I'm actually going to need another axle, so... 
maybe, well, that'll be more I can do. I might can just test out the time being and get the bucket because oh, a bucket of water would be so nice. It would be so nice. So let's go hook up the turntable. Um, yeah, we're going to, we're going to set this all up nicely in between episodes. That's what we're going to do. But for right now, let me just take you off. Thank you. Where'd the saw go? There it is. Okay. So don't do that. Don't, don't be losing stuff. Now, does this one have to be powered from behind or can it be powered from the side? Okay. So the bucket, all right? Clay bucket. Clay bucket, clay bucket. Where are you at? You. Where's the empty one? Clay bucket. Where's the empty one at? I don't see the empty one. Where the heck is the clay bucket at? It's it's the unfired one, right? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't see it. Um, so that needs to be... This is made from... Oh! Oh, I didn't even need to press it. I just need to put this on there. Six pieces of clay. See? I, th I was trying to be all high speed. I thought it was like... Um, well, see? Th th this is me learning. I'm learning on the other pack too or whatever. I thought it had to be... Um, from the clay block and then it like kind of digs stuff out but apparently that's it right there okay cool let's go throw this on top of the turntable and then hopefully <whistles> that's a much more fun way to get back down here that's I'm just saying that's just way more fun all right so I just place you on top right does this one have to be powered from the bottom Maybe. So I guess I can put my saw back. And we'll remove you. Wow, this is so loud. Uh, turntable's right there in my hand. Like that. And then, like that. Yes, that's doing it. Okay. Unfire clay bucket. Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it. And you go in the kiln. Cool. And we can make a clay bucket and we can pick up water and oh, so good things. My farm is going to be so much expanded by the time next episode starts. I will tell you right now that is just destined to happen. There you go. You fire that bad boy up. You do your thing. I'm going to take these potatoes out. I can't cook. I mean, I didn't want you to all go in there. I want you to come out. There we go. Clay bucket. Mm, bucket list. Now I can go pick up water. I don't know. I know that it says uh, water can be infinite in the bio, um, river biomes and the ocean biomes. But can I, like, create a infinite water spring out here? Like, I wonder. I really wonder. Um, and I think it was the last episode I was explaining to you guys. I was having issues with my worms. So this could be uh, good, because I haven't checked to see if my worms are still there or not. Um, this will solve that problem quick-like. So let's go see if we can put this water up here and make good things happen. So, are my worm see, my worms are gone. So it's one, two, yeah, I did this so I can put water right here. Oh. And make my ground moist again. And, oh, I love this all-in-one tool. I really do. This is so awesome. Cool. It is moisturizing up my crops. <sighs> this was a productive episode. We got, oh, everything done. All of age one complete. Everything. The only thing left back here is just this dude who I may, may be willing to kind of take him on. I've got some better armor. I'm getting some, you know, buffs with my, my good nutrition. This might be something to look into. Taking on the big bad boss and digging into age two. But um, I'm I'm totally content with everything that happened today. Um, so, yeah. I, I got nothing else to say. Until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace.